So we are going to do this exercise. Complete or mettez les verbes or passer composé. So we are going to complete the sentences by putting the verbs in the passé composé. Hier, yesterday, samedi, je, dash, beaucoup de choses. Now the verb given to us is faire. So what is the past participle for faire? So the past participle for faire is fait. And what, uh, which of the verbs will we use? It is avoir. Now the subject is je. For avoir, the je conjugation is a. So the apostrophe is there. J'ai fait beaucoup de choses. So, uh, yesterday I have done a lot of the work. So, j'ai fait. So what was the rule we used here? The avoir conjugation for the subject je plus the past participle of the given verb. So, j'ai fait is the expression. Moving on to the next sentence. Le matin, le, the morning, Pierre et moi, Pierre and me, nous, dash, o, tennis. Now, the verb is jouer. So, jouer takes the avoir conjugation. So, for nous, it is nous avons joué. Nous avons joué. Now, for jouer, it is an ER verb. So, the past participle is, we remove ER and replace it with E acute accent. Now, the next sentence, je dash. The verb here is gagner and it takes avoir. And for je, we already saw it is je. And it is an ER verb. So we remove ER and replace it with E acute accent. Je gagne. Now the fourth sentence. A midi, in the afternoon. Je déjeuner avec Pauline. So for je, again it is je. Déjeuner is again an ER verb. So for an ER verb, we would remove er and replace it with e accent so in all these sentences the verbs were such that we needed to use the avoir conjugation so we use the avoir conjugation plus the past participle of the given verb so for the first verb fair the past participle was fit and since the subject is je, the uh, avoir conjugation for je is ai. Similarly, for the second sentence, the verb is joué. It is an er verb. So, the past participle is joué. That is, we remove er and replace it with e acute accent. And for nous, the avoir conjugation is avons. Nous avons joué. Next sentence, again the verb was an ER verb, so we removed ER and replaced it with E, acute accent, and for je, the avoir conjugation is AI, je. Similarly, for the last sentence, again the verb is an ER verb, so we remove ER and replace it with E, acute accent, je déjeun avec Pauline. So now we have solved the first four sentences. Moving on to the next four sentences. L'après-midi, afternoon, elle, dash, chez une copain. Now the verb here is aller. So if you remember, aller is one of the verbs of motion. So aller takes the être verb as the auxiliary. So we have to con write the conjugation for être. The subject here is L. And what is the être conjugation for L? It is A. 
L A. So, etra plus, what was the rules? Etra plus past participle. So, now what is the past participle of the verb aller? It is an ER verb. So, we write aller. However, one more important rule is that when we use etre as the auxiliary, we need to see that the verb is in agreement with the subject. For a feminine verb, if the verb is in the feminine, I mean if the subject is feminine, we need to add an e. So, this is only when etre is used as the auxiliary. For avoir, we need not consider this. For etre, after writing the participle, the past participle, we need to see whether it is in agreement with the subject. So, L A L A chez yon copain. So, I hope you understood. It's very simple. You just have to follow the rules. You have to remember the rules and follow them. The next sentence, moi, me, je, dash, or cinema. Now, here we have again the verb aller. Now, aller takes etre conjugation. For je, we say, in etre it is je suis. And the past participle of aller, aller. Je suis allé au cinéma. I had gone to the cinéma. Now, moving on to the next sentence. Let's voir. The evening, des copains, dash, chase moi. Now, the verb here is again, venir. If you remember, venir is also a verb of motion. So, it takes être and des copains. Third person plural. Either it is il or l. So what is the etre conjugation for il or l? It is son. Son. So you have to remember the etre conjugation very well to be able to do this. So for il or l, it is son. And what is the past participle for venir? It is when you and you have to remember the rule so when we use etre conjugation as the auxiliary we have to see that it is in agreement now here it is in the plural form so we add s so this can be either masculine or this is masculine so if it is in the feminine form then you would add an e and an s this is in the masculine plural. So you only have to add S. Des copains sont venus chez moi. Finally, the last sentence. Nous dash a film. Regarde. Now, is regarde a verb of motion? No. So it takes avoir conjugation. So nous, for nous, the avoir conjugation is avant. Nous avons and the past participle of this, it is an ER verb. So remove ER and add E with an accent. Nous avons regardé un film. So this is how we do passé composé. So we take the verb, the infinitive of the verb and then we write the corresponding auxiliary verb. Either etre or avoir conjugation and then when we use etre conjugation we need to see that the past participle agrees with the subject so if the subject is feminine we add an e if it is in the plural form we add an s if it is in the feminine plural form we add es so this we have to follow only when the auxiliary is etre for avoir, we need not consider this.